hello, hello, hello. This is the Paranormal Drama Llama, and the first time I'm already narrating a video, because this is going to be quite a long video, and I'm going to be analysing and examining things, and it's going to get a bit detailed sometimes, and it's just going to be easier to, um, to speak rather than spend a lot of time typing. In this video, I'm going to be analysing and examining and debunking the outrageous claims that Proving Demons made in one of their most recent videos concerning a derelict farmhouse and finding supposed indoor graves. And they found a doll and a bone, blah, blah, blah. So, as I say, I'm going to do this um, as an oral nar narration this time. If, if you prefer, and if you like it orally, let me know in the comments. If you prefer the written narration captions that I often do, you can let me know that. Now, I'll show you very quickly. This is external footage of the farmstead that the Proven Demons team visited and that their videos are about. These are some external shots. Um, they don't tell us exactly where it is, but it appears that it's somewhere in the Greater Manchester area. You can't even make this stuff up. Like, how... Like, really? Like, I'm gonna... Oh, God. Oh, there's always gonna be people that say I'm making stuff up. Like, I came here with a truck full of dirt, laid out all the dirt, and then built a freaking cemetery in the basement. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway. Oh, I'm not... I am not gonna call the police. Last time I called the police, it just went bad. I'm not doing that. This is a crazy video, though. Definitely. Yeah, there's some weird stuff. There's something demented about this house. But, but I, I can't explain it. Uh... Yes, you do make stuff up, and I'm going to explain how what you've made up, and I'm going to debunk what you claim. What's the next vid going to be? It's going to be what we found behind the wall. Amazing stuff. We found a demented doll, but we found two graves inside the house. Uh, you'll see it all tomorrow. It's wild. Absolutely wild. Well, your claims are wild. Video coming out tomorrow. I will work really hard on it, but the footage is fantastical, mucho fantastico. So I cannot wait to see you all tomorrow. Your claims are fantastical, and also super key paranormal. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. It's hard to find others who are real and not playing games. Thank you so much, Super Kai. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything real about the claims. That that he makes in this in this video. I really, really appreciate that. And yes, yes, it's true. No, the claims you make in this video are not true. They're deliberately deceptive and they're false. He started chilling with the Proven Demons gang because we don't do drama on this channel and that's what's up. Now, something I need to say quite early on is that I'm actually relying on five different video footages for the purposes of this video. Five. Because three are from Proven Demons and two are from, from other sources. Uh, the three from Pre Proven Demons are on the 2nd of October the video, they, the live stream they did on the 11th of October, and the pre recorded material they released in their big revelation of the 12th of October. Most of the footage I'll be showing in this film will be the videos that Proven Demons released on the 11th and 12th of October. 
but I'm also going to be using footage from two other videos, as I said, and they are from two associates of Proven Demons, exploring with Danny and exploring with Andy, one of whom was with Proven Demons on the occasion they filmed all this footage on the 11th of October. And the reason I'm using this other footage will become apparent as the video goes on. I will let um, Proven Demons explain about this um, property and the hole in the wall and what they claim they found. As I said earlier, they first released a video about this property on the 2nd of October in pre-recorded footage. And then they went back to the property um, on the 11th of October. Because they and that's when they filmed the pre-recorded footage that they released in the video the 12th, which is the main video that I'm reviewing. This house is really, really active. Um, I don't know how else to put it. It's just pretty freaking active. If you guys want to see us come back here and go through the holes in the walls to the hidden rooms, smash the like button. We get 2,000 likes, it's yours. But also let me know, leave a comment down below and say yes, go through the wall as well. If you yeah, you guys got to let me know down below. Do we do a part two where we go behind the wall? You tell me now. Welcome to Hole in the Wall. Now, this is a place to be if you want to see the comments saying do the mystery hole. Bring on the wall! This video hits 2,000 likes. 2,000 likes. Me and Olivia will come back. We'll crawl through there. And we'll see what's back there once and for all. They will have to balance, bend, and twist and leap as they make the right shape to go right through the wall. Are you excited to hit the wall? You excited Ooh. to crawl through that? While you were in the other room, by the way, I heard a knock from in there. I was doing my intro right in front of the wall, and I heard like a knock inside of there, so I'm actually pretty worried about going in there. Well, you scared me now, Andrew. So, who's going in first? Right, guys, we did promise quite a lot of people that we would return here and go through the hole in the wall, so I am going to go through the hole in the wall. Is hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Right, guys. Andrew has found his torch. He is going in for the second attempt in the hole in the wall. Um, he's going to try and go in sideways, so hopefully he can go in this time straight away. Ring on the wall. And Andrew's going first in the hole in the wall. Just be really careful standing up on the other side, bro. You guys won't believe what we freaking found on the other side of that wall. I was going to blow minds, and the video that I'm dropping tomorrow is going to be amazing. I'm not going to tell you until we get more people in here. Everybody get in here. We need to talk. I was so not expecting this. This is unfreaking believable. What is up? I'm so glad you got in here. Everybody. Oh, oh my God. It's all yours. I will tell you, but you're going to wait. Just wait until you see the video tomorrow. I will tell you. 140 people watching. We already got 32 likes. We can get that up to 100. I want to know you're ready. I want to see you're ready to hear this because this blew my freaking mind. There's some demented stuff in this Nine house. is all yours. Nine more likes and I will tell you what is behind that freaking hole. There's something so freaking disturbing back there. Oh, goodness. There, we hit it. All right, you guys ready for this? You guys, there's a freaking indoor graveyard. There's a freaking indoor uh, graveyard. You guys, there's an indoor graveyard on the other side. Literally, we went in there. We found some demented stuff. There's like some weird book. What else was it? There's, oh, I found a freaking bone about that big. I think it's a small animal bone. No, I'm not making anything. But the thing is, I'm starting to freak out that it's a little kid's bone. Because downstairs, 
We went all the way downstairs, and the whole ground is literally made of dirt. There's no floor whatsoever, and there's like a child's grave and like an adult grave in the bottom level of the living room. And uh, also, we found the doll hanging from the noose, and it's it's like a voodoo doll, but it's weird because it's made to look like it's I don't know. This is my interpretation of it. But it looks like its guts are, like, spilling out of it. We undid the duct tape around it, and it's filled with pins. But it's, like, it's weird. It's, like, it's got organs and stuff, you know? Like, in inside body parts. It's really strange. And it was hanging by a noose in there. But overall, freaking weird. And And on the conveyor belt tonight, an oil lamp, a floral encasement, a stone flagon of wine, rosé, a soda siphon and an ice bucket, a cuddly dog, a wall clock, a fan heater, binoculars, an electric tea maker and timer, a tennis game, a rather rude picture, Ladies makeup, a sun lamp, a carpet, a microscope outfit, salad bowl and servers, coffee set, collection of children's annuals. All right then, keep thinking. Everything you remember, you will take home with you tonight. You've got 45 seconds to recount your thoughts starting from now. Uh, hold on, where's my torch? I'm not even kidding with you. There's an indoor graveyard with two graves on the other side of that wall. I'm dead serious. I'm not crawling back through there. We just got finished filming this. You're going to have to see the video if you want to see it, but I want to... But yeah, there's a freaking graveyard inside the house. There's a freaking graveyard. Inside but yeah, there's an indoor graveyard on the other side. So but yeah, um... Basically, I'm going to I'm gonna get that video out for you tomorrow. I know everybody's been dying. I asked for 2,000 likes on it to come back and do it. I got 5,000 likes. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not I'm not even lying. There's an indoor graveyard on the other side of the wall on, on the bottom level. So there are, there's a staircase to the right side. You go down there, and it's literally just a plot of dirt, all dirt, like soil. Like there's no floor, no nothing, and then there's two graves. So it's really messed up. But that's what's on the other side of this this wall. Didn't he do well? Whoa! Right. It's been an interesting night, though, to say the least. Anyway, I hope you guys are... Let me know. Smash that like button now if you guys are excited for tomorrow's video. Now that we filmed all of this. Oh, God. This is exciting. I, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing from this find. I never, I've never come across anything like this before. An indoor graveyard. To be honest, I thought I was going to come tonight and just go through an hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. And hear a couple of bangs and stuff, but what we actually found was disturbing. Honestly, it's good. It, it's freaking crazy. Graves, indoor graves. Who would have ever imagined indoor yeah, graves? Floor, the yeah, there were like there was no floor. It was just right into the ground. They built a house over pure ground and buried two people in there. Can I dig the graves up? I think there's a law that would prevent me from doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think, I think I'd be breaking the law if I did that. Like this hole was already here in the wall. Yeah, the upstairs has dirt everywhere too, but it's the bottom level that is just like, that's where, that's where the two graves are. They're indoors. Oh, it's weird. Uh. But yeah, no, I'll have a video out for you guys tomorrow, the part two, and I'll sh I'll show you the, because you'll you'll enjoy it more anyway if you see our raw reactions of finding graves in the house. Yeah, but yeah, just secret walls and graves inside. That's so weird. I would have never expected to find a grave, a freaking indoor graveyard. Um, yeah, basically, long story short. We went through the hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. I filmed it all. I will have it on the video tomorrow. Um, ooh. Uh, and basically, we we went in. We found some demented stuff. But I think the ta the what takes the cake is the two graves, the indoor graves we found. Like I said, there was no floor. 
the whole ground was just solid, like not solid, very loose dirt, like soil, and two, two graves, one that looked like the child and one that looked like an adult on the bottom level of, of that bricked up portion of the house. Uh, this is more of a revelation. Um, we, like I said, nobody, nobody's had the surprise spoil for them other than me saying what happened. But we went through the hole in the wall and we found some demented stuff, including uh, two graves on the bottom level. Two graves. Uh, they're indoors. So these graves, these bodies are buried inside the house. There's no floor. It's all just ground. It's messed up. It's really messed up. Now, I want to um, mention this book that I found. Now, in one of the clips, Andrew describes it as a weird book. Well, there's nothing particularly weird about it. It's a book. Agatha Raisin and the Potted Gar Gardener. Very farmhouse-like, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like this house. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I guess you're right. The house. Yeah, and the, and barn. the barn on the side. And all the grass. Now this book, Agatha Raisin and the Potted Gardener, is interestingly, or well, actually, or ironically, is a mystery novel in a whole series of mystery novels with the top character Agatha Raisin, an amateur detective. Which is rather apt because what I'm going to do in this video is I'm playing amateur detective Andrew Ward on your footage of this cottage, and I'm going to be examining all the ridiculous claims that you make at this cottage, at this farm, at this farmhouse. Now, Proven Demons, Andrew Ward makes a series of claims about things that he's discovered and found at this property. And I'm going to go through this video, examine the different claims one by one, Give some analysis and I'll be debunking every single claim he makes as we carry on. Now he claims to have found a number of things. He claims to found he refers to this doll that he's found. I'll talk about that. And the big claim he makes is that he found two graves. I'll go through everything. Now on the first visit, on the 2nd of October, or the video that was released on the 2nd of October, not sure exactly what date they went there, but the video was released on the 2nd of October, they went to the property, they claimed it was a haunted property, and that it, um, they claimed there was poltergeist activity there as well. And then they returned to the property on the 11th of October. Now, in this video, I'm not focusing on the paranormal activity, I'm focusing on the physical claims they make. And the main reason for doing that is, if we can't believe the claims they make about physical things, how can we believe anything about that they claim about paranormal activity? So as I say, they're at this deserted farmstead, and the focus is on the farmhouse building. So the video they released on the 12th of October has this appalling clickbait title, which is very, very reminiscent because it's almost identical to the video they made in December last year, the notorious Bone in the Wall one, and the title is almost identical. The Thumbnail is titled Body in the Wall, and the title text is Finding a Body Behind a Wall at the Haunted Poltergeist House, which is, I think, almost word for word exactly the same as the Bone in the Wall Cottage video. So it's just like Deja Vu, really, isn't it? This is what we've become accustomed to. And they present the they found this hole in the wall, and Andrew presents it that this is a 
ripped up hidden series of rooms, that they're hidden, that they're secret, and that it's been deliberately bricked up. That's the first claim he makes, which, as I'm going to explain, he knows is bollocks. What's up, guys? So, uh, I'm back again at the wall, at the hole in the wall. This is Hole in the Wall. Uh, I asked for 2,000 likes in the last video if you guys were interested in seeing this, and we hit an overwhelming 5,000 likes so far. Now, I want to hear down below. Oh, you know, a really cold kind of breeze just hit the side of my head. Um, I want to hear down below, what do you guys believe could be hidden back here? As you know, this farmhouse, the farmer had disappeared, uh, and we had discovered that there was a secret room within the house. That's the... That was a noise. There was a knock in there. Right, cast your votes down below, real quick before I get distracted. Cast your votes down below. What do you believe could be hidden in here? Why do you think that they bricked up a whole separate room to this haunted house? Take your guesses now, and once we all find out what's in there, let me know if you were right. Now, there's a whole nother part of the house that's been sealed up. And it's this is not a bricked up series of rooms. This wall, which is actually, by the way, on the first floor, not the ground floor, it's on the first floor, because you get the impression that the downstairs where the alleged graves are is a, is a basement. It doesn't explicitly always say this, but as a viewer, you get that impression that it's on, it's on the basement level, but it's not. And this wall with the hole in it, with the flowery wallpaper, is actually an external wall of the, the original external wall of the farmhouse, the main farmhouse building. And I'll take you through explain to you perhaps why that is the case. So there's a number of reasons for that we can we can we can um, deduce that. The first thing is when you see the other side of the wall there's a skirting board along the bottom. Well if it was a bricked up wall keep something behind it secret, but how is it come there as a skirting board? But there's other more bigger reasons why. You can see various panning shots of the other side of this wall, and you can see it's one continuous lot of brickwork. It's not been patched up or bricked up in any way. It's it's the it's the it's actually the external wall or the original external wall elevation of this farmhouse. And this series of rooms, two rooms upstairs and two rooms downstairs, is an additional dwelling that's been added onto the side elevation of this farmhouse at some point later on. And you can see as they go down the stairs, you can see some extra brickwork to increase the footprint of the, of, of the other extra dwelling. But not only that, as you go down the stairs and you can see on some of the extra footage, you see that the, there's actually a bricked up doorway and a bricked up window aperture that's been broken in by people exploring the building at some point. And you can't see in the Proven Demons video, barely, but if you look at some of the other footage, you can clearly see there's a bricked up doorway with an external door of its hinges and then to the left of that there is a window aperture that's been bricked up or, or partially bricked up and then it's been broken through and actually in one of the clips you can see street lights or building lights through that hole. So to present that the only way to get into that area is through this hole in that wall upstairs is bogus because the more obvious way into that building would be through that window aperture on the ground floor. 
and they are, it is a ground floor, it's not a basement, because these are living spaces with fireplaces, and with an external door. So the, although they present a rather ambiguity about whether it's the ground floor, or lower floor, or a basement, it's not a basement, it's the ground floor, and there's an external door, and there's windows. So why they needed to get through that hole in the wall in order to access that area is unclear. But the key thing is they present it as being some sort of hidden series of rooms. And it's not. It's not. So that's the first thing to say about that. Now, as for the claim finding a body behind a wall, or a body in the wall, well, for starters, the wall, this external, what was the original external wall, has no cavity, so there's nothing to be found in it anyway. Next thing is a body. They didn't find any body, they didn't present any body. There's no human body presented, or animal body presented in any of these videos. There's no remains of a body, of a human body. There's animal bones, what appear to be animal bones of small mammals. But no human body, no human remains, no human bones, unlike the thigh bone of December 2018, bone gate bone. Although Andrew kind of gives a little bit of an implication that maybe the little bone they found on the other side of the, roof, of the wall on its own might be the bone of a human infant. It sort of implies that it might be the case. But regardless of that, there is no body, no human remains. He found what he alleges is two graves, but finding two graves is not the same as finding a body. So that's just completely misleading, and it's just clickbait, hyperbole, as per usual. We went through the hole in the in the wall. And we found a lot, including two graves, indoor graves, as in two bodies buried inside the house. One was a child, by the looks of it, the size was a child, and the other was a full adult. And they look like shallow graves, like the floor. Now let's talk about the, the doll now, the voodoo-like doll, the de demented doll as he refers to it. Everything with Andrew seems to be demented. Um, maybe it's the viewers of Proven Demons who are demented, the fans of Proven Demons, because quite why he has over 100,000 subscriptions, I have no idea if they believe, really do believe what they're presented with. Anyway, about this doll. So I'll show you the footage of when they find this doll and they have a look at it and they present it to us and describe it and then later they bring it back through the hole in the wall and they talk about it a bit more so I'm going to show you that first oh bro dude it's moving come here it's moving It's just literally swinging. I don't know. It... Uh, something really disturbing. It looks like a doll. Just hanging here. I came in though, and it was just swinging there. Wow, bro, that's just weird. Why is this all over his face? Looks like cobwebs. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. It's got a pen on the side. Well, though, I don't think we should be messing with it. A voodoo doll. I don't know, I've never seen a voodoo doll like this. Well, it's got pins in it. It's what they use, like, do like, magic and that in it, black magic and stuff. Uh, 
Um, okay. Right. Everybody watching, is this some kind of voodoo ritual you've ever seen or... You know, this is the problem, Danny. Every time I make a video of something like this, I, I leave it for a solid week or so. And I just hope this isn't some kind of prank. But that's weird. I didn't like it though. I walked in the room and it was just swinging. I don't know, it could be like the wind, I guess. Well, I kid you not, that is the weirdest doll I've ever seen in my entire life. Right, uh... On why they even got tape on it. I don't know. Tell you what, can you... Do you want to do a spirit box real quick before I take it down? Yeah, yeah, Bill. Everybody, this is... Well, I, honest to God, I don't... Why would... I don't really know how to respond to this. It's creepy. How old do you think it is? Still looking at that. That looks like it's been here for a long time. I'm gonna have to take it off the thing. Here. It's not even got eyes. It's got black eyes. Right, before we cut it down and take it into the other room, because I want to get this duct tape off of it, um, I want to do a spirit box in this room because, like I said, I don't know if I should push it in any further in case it's like connected to somebody. Oh, Bill, that air's been singed or whatever on it and it smells burnt. Oh god, look at it! It's as if its insides have been ripped out. It's like these are supposed to represent its guts or something. Wow, but it looks like a, a person who's had an autopsy done on him. Bro, is that a cross? Yeah. Doesn't that, everybody watching, doesn't that straight up look like the insides are coming out? Like an autopsy. Wow. Oh, look, 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 look. It's got a Jesus cross on it. What the hell? Yeah, hold on to that. Oh, wow. God. Oh. His arms on it. This dog looks like it's been tortured. Yeah. Well, it's been done like a voodoo doll. Right, I think we get the idea. Everybody watching, tell me, please. Look at his face. What is this? What on earth have they done? Like, I don't understand the purpose. <coughs> the purpose of this is dusty. No, it's got symbols on it and stuff. Right, I'm not. I'm not. What? Oh. I know that's the Luciferian symbol. Is it supposed to be their butt? <laughs> now, one of the first things to say here is that this doll with this silver gaffer tape or duct tape on it, the duct tape looks remarkably fresh and clean on the outside. There's no dust on it, there's no cobwebs on it, yet the head is covered in this really thick cobwebs. So my suspicion is that this doll hasn't been there very long and that someone put these cobwebs that they found in probably in the building and they put it on its head and then they suspended it on this blue rope. Now Andrew does a spirit box session with this doll still in the room that he found it and he asked this interesting question he asked how long has it been there can you tell me how old this doll is or how long it's been here how many years so how long has this doll been there well not very long because I can demonstrate why I know that because I'm going to show you this clip of proven demons from the original video they released about this property that they released on the 2nd of October. So this footage that follows is taken on the 2nd of October. 
and I want you to look carefully at the room to the right through the doorway of where the doll was later found. And what do you see? Is the doll there? Can you see the blue cord? Can you see the doll being suspended in that room? Because you should be able to see it from that viewpoint. But no, it's not there. So on the 2nd of October, that doll wasn't there. And he knows it wasn't there. Because he, he had his camera through the hole, and he was looking at it, and he probably looked at the footage later on. So he knows the doll wasn't there. Which means there's only two possible explanations. Either Andrew Ward, or a confederate of Andrew Ward on his behalf, put that doll there, at some point between the 2nd of October, on whatever, or whatever on whatever date they originally went there, and the 11th of October, or they did it on the 11th of October, or the second possibility is that some third party unknown to him planted it there in the less than two week period between when he first visited the property and when he returned. So you can make your mind up as to which is the more likely possibility. Did he put it there or someone on his behalf put it there? Or did someone else put it there and it just happened to be in the period of time between he went there first and when he returned on the 11th, which was probably about less than two weeks. Next I want to look at the bone that they found. So here's the footage about the bone. Look at this. Come on, maybe get it's very light. Oh, it's a bone. Well, yeah, it's a bone, I know that. It's like a, it's a leg bone off an animal. What is that, like a cat bone? Or some kind of animal. Yeah, oh, cat, fox. I, well, I was, well, I was stuck in there. I had a good minute to look around on the ground around me. And I found this. I don't know if I can fit in there. <laughs> it looks like I should be able to. You can, you just gotta go inside it. Quite a small bone though, isn't it? Legs first. Legs first. Legs first. Well now we have to find out what is behind there. Why is there another bone? Everybody, you let me know right now before we even start. Will I fit through that wall as well? Tell me, honestly, what what do you think is back there? Why is this just chilling there by the entrance? That's weird. I'm just going to set this down for now. Here, can I see? What are the, what are the odds that that is like... For, it's got to be from animal. It's very clean, though. What are the odds it's like from a baby or something? It looks... I don't I don't even know what, what part of the body that is. You know, oddly, I don't see any other, like... Bones on the ground or anything. It's just that one. Where was it? That bone right there? Yeah, it was just chilling. You know, oddly, I don't see any other, like, bones on the ground or anything. It's just that one. Where was it? That bone right there? Yeah, it was just chilling there. This, this is the bone we found. It's small. It's, like I said, it could just be a small animal, but now I'm concerned because we found a child's grave down there. I'm trying to put light on. I don't know. Now you'll notice that he says that there's just one bone, and he shows a bit of footage on the other side of the wall, showing that there weren't, that he didn't find any other bones there. And in this next clip, when he's in the car afterwards, on the night of the 11th, he says that when he went through the first room downstairs, he didn't really see anything, there was nothing on the floor or anything like that. Just watch this. So I went downstairs with them, and then we walked through the first room, which had nothing in it. It was just all dirt on the ground. We walked into the second room, and... However, the following day, exploring with Andy, went to the property, completely separate from Proven Demons, and he had his own video, a live stream, released on the 12th of October, and in this video, he goes downstairs, and this is what he says about the first room. This is some creepy stuff, bro. Holy crap, there's bones everywhere.
there's bones all over the place, like literally everywhere. It's like a a pigeon cemetery of some sort. Like a lot of animals have died in here. Yeah, there's literally wow, there's like a spinal cord there. That's that's a spine. Yeah, that's the spine of some animal that has died here. Yeah, that's that's yeah, the remains of the corpse. Freaking hell. And there's literally bones everywhere, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But bones. Bones here. There's bones all over the place. All over the floor. There's just bones everywhere. So he says that he's made a point of commenting that there are loads of animal bones all over the place in this room downstairs. Yet when Andrew Wall commented on it the night before, he doesn't mention any. He doesn't mention it at all. In fact, he says there was nothing there. So again, he's best led us about whether there's a, how many bones there are there, which makes you wonder whether the bone that was found behind the hole in the wall was a bone that he'd found downstairs and then he put it upstairs. I'm not saying he did. You can make your own mind up about what's most likely. But the fact is that it wasn't a bone on its own. It was there was a whole collection of bones downstairs. It's probably some fox or something has been using that as an area and they come through the window their window aperture downstairs and that's why there's loads of bones of birds and small mammals and whatever down there. Next I want to look at the most extravagant and the most major claim they make about this location, which is about the graves, and about the internal graveyard. And what he alleges are two graves, one of an adult and one of a child. So here's the footage where he talks about the supposed graves. So we went we went in there and we found the the uh, an indoor graveyard with what appears to be a child's grave and an adult grave. So I'm just going to show you the the raw unedited footage of the first time he goes into this room downstairs where he believes that these are graves. I'll just show it in its raw form. Living room, but other living room. Really? Oh, well, it looks really spooky down here. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna go down and just have a look, quick look. Oh, I don't know what that noise was. Yeah, but now that means I wanna go down. You guys, don't try this at home. Be really careful, though. Yeah, this does not feel safe in the slightest. It isn't even like floor, it's all just dirt. Whoa. What are those? Wait, stop. What are those lumps in the ground? That looks like something might be buried under there, bro. Look! Right there, dude! That's a freaking cage for a freaking grave. This is a freaking. This, sorry for my. This is an indoor cemetery. The ground is made of dirt. You're standing on a body right now, bro, or something. I'm not kidding you. That is not right. You guys, tell me, am I right or not? Is that is that a freaking cage for a grave, like a child's grave buried under there? And why is the ground plotted up like this, like there's a freaking coffin under there? This looks really creepy. That looks really bad. Uh, I'm not, no, come on, I'm, I'm not. You can stay, I'm going. I don't like that. I. Are there freaking are there freaking people buried in that room? Hello? This is my last attempt at getting paranormal activity before I never come back to this place again. I don't like this. 
I don't like this at all. I'm going. Do you just hear that? I hear it just went. No, I'm I'm out. I am out. Is oh, it? It's a it's like a freaking indoor graveyard. I am so gone. Uh. uh Stop. What are those lumps in the ground? That looks like something might be buried under there, bro. Right Look! There. Right there, dude! That's a freaking cage for a fucking grave! This is a fucking... This, sorry for my... This is an indoor cemetery. The ground is made of dirt. You're standing on a body right now, bro, or something. I'm not kidding you. That is not right. You guys, tell me, am I right or not? Is that is that a freaking cage for a grave, like a child's grave, buried under there? And why is the ground plotted up like this, like there's a freaking coffin under there? This looks really freaky. That man. looks really bad. Uh, I'm not, no, come on, I'm, I'm not, you can stay, I'm going. I don't like that. I, so that does look freaky. Are there freaking people buried in that room? I need someone to take my like yeah. I need someone to take my camera. I am not gonna stay on this side. There's like I don't know, but it's like there's bodies buried on the in, on the bottom level. It's like a graveyard down there. I'm not I'm not joking. There's like an indoor graveyard on the bottom level. Oh, yeah. It's it's wild. I could not believe what we found back there. But literally to find two two like unmarked graves. This is wild. Well, one of them was. The other one wasn't. One of them was only marked with a, looked like a, a like a, I don't know what you call them, like a grave fence around it. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh, what a wild night. In it, it was just Absolutely. all dirt on the ground. We walked into the second room, and that's when it hit us. There was uh, like a full adult size grave and a child's grave inside this house. This house with no floors, only dirt. There's two graves. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's two graves, and uh, one's child size, one's full adult size, and it was just freaky. And anyway, we were walking. So the total amount of time that he spent in this room was very limited. He went into the room once, as soon as, almost as he went through the threshold of the doorway, he's concluded to himself that these are graves. It's interesting that in the footage of exploring with Andy, although he says the area is spooky, he doesn't mention the fact at all that he thinks that there are graves there. He doesn't have that reaction at all. Check this out. That, that looks strange. Why is, like, everything just mud right now, like? Everything's just mud. There's not even no floor in it. It's just all, like... But this would have once been a room because we've got the uh, old fireplace and stuff here. Crazy, isn't it? So yeah, to so, everyone that wanted to see what was behind the wall, this is it. You may have already have seen it by now on Exploring with Danny's or Proving Demons, but yeah, Exploring with Andy wanted to check it out, so I'm here to check it out. And my viewers also wanted this, so yeah, why not? Really spooky in here, guys. Really is. I did a, a few strange noises before we did come down here, but I've not really seen much or not really picked up on anything too crazy. Yeah, who knows what could happen. So let's keep going, see what else we bump into.
Sir Andrew has gone into this room, not spent a lot of time there, immediately concluded these are graves, and then he then reports to his viewers, oh, I found an internal graveyard with two graves, a child and an adult. Based on what? A cursory inspection of maybe 20, 30 seconds at most, probably. And now as for this thing in the, on the side, where she says it's the child grave, he refers to it as a grave cage or grave fence. Well, to me, it looks like an old fireplace fender, such as this kind of thing here, which I'll show in these images. It looks, it looks to me as if there's like a lower lip in the middle, which would be quite appropriate for a poker to be rested on temporarily as well. Now, notably, of course, it's three-sided. Now, if it was a, quote, grave cage or grave fence for a child's grave, why would it be manufactured as a three-sided thing? So it's just a ridiculous claim. So as I say, it's probably a fireplace fender. It's possible it might be a very old, dirty, plastic, uh, like, food delivery crate, like for bread or milk. Of course, this was a dairy farmstead. And I've seen other people suggest that it could be that sort of a thing. I don't think it is, because if you look at the... Uh, this thing, the edges on it are very sharp and angular, and I think that suggests that it's metal and not plastic. So I think the most likely explanation is a, a fireplace fender. Now just a bit of bonus content here. Um, there's the manifesting rubber duck. And I'm not going to really get involved, I'm not going to get involved in, in that, but, but I'm going to show you the footage anyway. Where's that freaking duck dust come from? What do you mean? It's just appeared from nowhere, bro. A duck. A duck literally just appeared. What do you mean? You guys haven't seen this at all? No, no. no. You can even watch the videos, but the, the duck just appeared right there. As we're doing this, a freaking rubber duck just appeared out of nowhere. Seriously. And I'm not even joking about that, but that doesn't surprise me. Oh my god. Freaking a rubber duck just appeared out of nowhere. You just looked down and it was there. Yeah, but I'll we'll just look down at our feet and the duck was right there. That's weird. Okay, I'm, I'm not surprised. surprised. When I, a freaking apparently a rubber duck literally just appeared in the room and it wasn't there at all. You guys swear you didn't see it at I all. Swear. Well, you can check on our toys when we first came into this room. We've not left this room once and we were just all talking. All three of us, we put all three of us locked down and noticed the duck there against our feet. So apparently a manifesting rubber duck just appeared. Now, I suppose it's worth saying that it's possible that this duck is something that Olivia has, so that when she does her selfies, she can mimic her duck face. Maybe that's why there's a duck there. Mind you guys, downstairs is one more hole in the wall, mystery wall. If you guys are interested, and I'm going to tell you, after finding the freaking graveyard on that side of the house, I'm not really too keen to find out what's in the other one. But if you guys want it, I will do it for you some way, somehow. Let me know in the comments down below and say yes. Go through the hole in the wall, and I will make it happen for you, because I am kind of curious. <laughs> I will say, I'm going to up the ante on this one because now that I know what was in there, I want to make sure that it's really going to be worth it that I go through the other hole in the wall. This time, I'm going to ask for 3,000 likes. We smashed out 5,000 likes when I only asked for two on the last video. This time, 3,000 likes, and I will make it happen for you one way or another.